Hi, this is Alan, and I'm going to show you how to do slip stitch edging when you're knitting. So if you're working on a flat piece, you might find that the edges, as you're working up, have bumps or are kind of loose. And I'm going to show you how to fix that. So here, this is what it's going to look like. Um, it's just got neat little V's on both ends. stitch. I'm just going to knit that up quick. And on the last stitch is the one you're going to slip. But to actually get these neat V's, it's what you're going to do next that counts. So in this seed stitch, I should actually knit the first stitch. But since the yarn's in the front, I'm going to purl it. And that's what's going to make that V. So I'll actually purl two before I start to continue the seed stitch. And now I'm going to go back to the other side. And I'll show you what happens if your yarn is in the back. Okay, so this time I'm not going to bring the yarn around to the front. I'm going to leave it in the back. Still going to slip that last stitch over. But instead of purling the first stitch, I'm going to knit it, but I'm going to knit it through the back. So instead of going into the front like regular, I'm going to go into the back of the loop, knit it that way, and then bring it around and continue the seat stitch. So you can see, that keeps those V's going all the way down on both sides. Thank you. This is Alan, and that was how to do slip stitch edging when you're knitting.